it seems every year there's there's something big at stake for this game and you know this year is one of the the most notables is the high rankings of both of the teams what does that add to the just to what's developed as luster for this game uh, nothing not a bit um, you know for I think both of us um, the thing that's riding on the game is just to, to be the leader in the GLIAC you know uh, the winner um, will stay you know ahead or tied with Davenport if Davenport wins the loser is going to be one game back and so uh, that's our focus you know um, you know, we, we never pay attention to the rankings, so until I read Rob's, uh, you know, press release, I don't, I don't know what we're ranked, and really rankings in, in, in Division II college football are kind of like rankings in high school. They, they don't mean anything. You've got playoffs, and you have opportunities to make, make uh, you know, a name for yourself in the playoffs, so it's not the ranking that really matters all that much. But in the bigger picture, Tony, um, when you look at where – uh, the amount of undefeated teams, there's not many. And there's three of them that are in the GLIAC, two of them that are eligible for the playoffs, and they just happen to be playing each other. Does that speak to the bigger picture? Of yeah, that's, yeah, that's for sure the big, bigger picture. Um, you know, and I'm proud. I'm proud, you know, proud of, proud of Grand Valley, proud of Ferris State, proud of Davenport that there's three uh, undefeated teams in West Michigan. Um, it says a lot about West Michigan football. Says a lot about the culture of the universities that, uh, you know, basically promote their programs, and so, you know, it's a it's a pretty pretty incredible thing, um, and you know, when it comes to this game, um, you know, I I haven't I haven't coached in this game without it being the biggest game, you know, uh, it's just been incredible, and and the the faces have changed, the names have changed, you know, I was just going through uh, the other day, you know, looking at. Uh, you know Potts and 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 uh, Spencer and uh, you know all the names that that from West Michigan that have played in this game and and uh, great players and you know the faces are different now the names are different but still it's the same thing I mean it's just a it's a great game and it's a great opportunity for people of West Michigan to celebrate it and you know as far as as far as my perspective on it you know they. They're great, and uh, they deserve to have opportunities to play in great games. And so, for us, you know, this is something that, um, you know, we, we shouldn't say it, it brings stress to us. We should celebrate the opportunity to play in a game like this. And that's been kind of our, our uh, you know, message to our young guys: just celebrate an opportunity to play in big games because that's 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 why you play the game. Tony, how much pride is there for you guys? I mean, you going back to 2000 in the Brian Kelly era, they've been associated at that level. That now you guys are too, and you know both of you are, and it, you know what it helps recruiting wise. Just the pride of being a part of that now and being you know known in that same group. Yeah, no, it, it's incredible. You know, uh, you know going back to to you know the the heyday for them. You know, I was, you know, I, I sent guys to Grand Valley as a high school head coach, so. Uh, I'm very well connected with Brian Kelly. You know, Jeff Quinn and I were texting just the other day. Um, you know, uh, Chuck and I are, are friends, and so um, you know, I I went to fundraisers back in the day, Grand Valley fundraisers. Uh, you know, and sat with Chuck and, and some of his friends, and and uh, you know, their reverse raffle draw and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's 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 cool to be able to play them and and to even compete. And I've always felt that way that. Uh, you know they're they're that good of a program, and and we've uh, developed our program to a level where we, you know, you know we're very competitive. Coach, I think we talked earlier on Saturday about um, the two big names between these teams are our quarterbacks. I feel like it's going to be kind of that battle. We got Jay Room who's doing really great things this season. Bart who's breaking records down. Grand Valley. So how do you think those two are going to really match up this year? Well, you know, I mean, I think five of the six. Uh, the act players of the week in offense have been those two guys, so it's pretty incredible, you know. Um, Bart's been just unbelievable to compete against. Uh, he's a great quarterback. Um, weird little tidbit here, but his mother was in my wedding, believe that or not. So, uh, mm -hmm. so there's some some history there uh, with it with his mother and and knowing uh, you know that he's done great things and. And uh, Jay Roos done great things for us. You know, I couldn't be prouder of a young man who's, uh, you know, done done so many wonderful things for us. And 
and uh, just has earned a lot of respect from, from our team and our coaching staff. Home field doesn't mean a difference in this um, rivalry, right? Regardless of where you're playing, you got both a lot of fans from both sides. So it doesn't you know, it's down there, but uh, how much does the home field advantage uh, mean? Probably not much, does it? Well, you know, we, we we've won three out of four there and yeah. three out of four at home. Um, so I would say you know, last year we were fortunate to beat them at our our own field. Um, they really outplayed us last year, and we won the game. So uh, you know, I I, I don't. It, it really hasn't been a factor. For us and any opponent we've ever played, you know we've, uh, you know, we, we've been as good on the road as we have been at home, and it'll be a great venue. It's a great, exciting venue. Um, you know, we, we've enjoyed going there.